Hey, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to Menno Minis. This is Denise Wellick Peterson. How are you doing today? All right, so week one workouts, early follicular phase workouts. That's the topic of the day. Now, if you're quick running stuff through your head, you're going, wait, week one, early follicular. That's the week I have my period. Who works out on the week they have their period? Well, let's talk some science. Let's talk hormones, right? So actually, fun story. Um, Dr. Stacy Sims has studied this whole, I feel like shit on my period kind of thing. And she's an elite athlete, um, doctor, and runs a lot of ultra marathons, you know, those like 50 and 100 miles and stuff. I don't understand. But anyway, what she would find is that, you know, no matter how hard she trained, every once in a while, she ne- she would end up in the medical tent. And when she would end up in the medical tent, she often discovered, you know, there were other women there. And they started talking and eventually discovered that a lot of the women were in a particular phase of their cycle. And guess what? It wasn't week one. It wasn't when they were on their period. In fact, what she discovered then after discovering that, um, I think it was week four actually, that they were in the medical tent, but I'm not 100% sure. But then she went on to study it and discovered that week one, during your period, you are the strongest, most enduring, and your hormones are actually most like a male's. And that's actually when you'll get a lot of your best results. Isn't that fascinating? So what's going on on week one? Okay, you have gotten your period. So this means that your estrogen now is on the rise. Okay, and generally speaking, estrogen equals energy. Okay, so your estrogen is on the rise, your energy is on the rise, you're starting to feel a little bit better, right? You're coming off of the week of PMS where you're like craving stuff and actually pretty lethargic because your estrogen and testosterone tanked so far and your progesterone was so high. Now that progesterone has dropped way down, estrogen is on the increase. Not so much testosterone yet, not in week one. It's thinking about it, but not really, okay? So with all this being said, Maybe not the first day of your period, but I do want to remind you, if you're a a person who, like I used to be, um, lots of cramps the first couple days, just general feel like shit, that's a sign of hormone imbalance, right? So we really want to kind of fix that, right? We want to work on that. And then you will find that during your period, your energy actually starts to spike pretty rapidly. So what does that mean in the gym? Well, it's not quite the time where we're wanting to set personal records and lift as heavy as we can, but it's also not the time for the massage, okay? The time for the massage, that was week four, before your period. But now on week one, we're back in the gym. Now, personally, what I like to do, like this is a middle, mid-weight, mid-heavy weight, right? We're still not wussing out, right? It's a mid-heavy weight. We're shooting for 12 to 15 repetitions, okay? We're ramping back up. We're in it. We're getting into our muscle muscle building phase again, okay? So personally, what I like to do is take the workout that I did from early week three, from the early luteal phase, and repeat it now in the early follicular phase and see if I can lift more. Now, the head game there is, you know, proving that taking that week off, getting a massage or foam rolling or whatever, didn't hurt my muscle gains, right? That I'm still able to lift as heavy that I didn't take a big step back. So the key to knowing that is obviously to record your weights. Now, after all these years, I I despise carrying pen and paper around in the gym and tracking each rep and sets and weight. I generally will write down the workout that I did, like what exercises I did. And on that, my heaviest round 
what was the weight and how many reps did I get? That's my personal. But now maybe you like to write all of the things down and that's totally cool. However you like to track it, right? Always remembering, of course, that you want to start with your warm up, you want to start with a warm up set, and then you work up to your heavy weight, right? But not work up to like only the fourth round is heavy. They should be heavy, right? So what did I do this this week on week one? Again, I repeated week three. So I did the leg press. I did the machine chest press. I did the machine row. And I did lat pull downs, right? And I started with my warm up round. And then I went in and I, I did look at, okay, what was the weight I topped out at? And let's see if by round three or four I can get, by round three if I can get to that weight, and then round four if I can go higher. And I was pleasantly surprised. And I was surprised. But I do find that I was able to lift more. And that's exciting if you're looking to make ma gains, if you're looking to maintain muscle mass, right? And we are indeed looking to maintain muscle mass because muscle burns calories. Muscle drives metabolism. We want to be able to lift more than our purse, and we want to be able to do it well into our old, old age, right? So that is where we stand. So I would encourage you, if you are a person who doesn't like to exercise during your period or has always thought, oh, I'll get results, maybe try and rethink that. Maybe read a little bit on the free bleed. Saw that in the Boston, I think it was the Boston Marathon a few years ago. Um, but know that your hormones at that point are most like a man's. So it's not impossible, ladies. You can, you can work out during your period. It's actually a pretty strong phase of the month for you. Is there anything I wanted to make sure you said? Early follicular? Yeah, being off didn't hurt. It didn't hurt and it won't hurt you. And the quicker you get back into working out, once your period starts, once you hit week, week one again, the more gains you can make during the next two weeks, right? During the first two weeks of your period up through ovulation. So we want to jump right back into it. You got, you've got to, I don't know if that's the right wording. Your hormones supported you taking a week off that last week before your period. You don't want to continue taking the time off so that you're not making as many gains during your strong period. Okay. So week one, early follicular, it's the week you're menstruating likely. It's one of your strong weeks. Get back in the gym, lift heavy, but know that heavy, heavy week is still coming. So if you're excited about lifting super heavy, tune in next week for what week two, right before ovulation brings us in the gym. If you're not excited about lifting heavy, tune in for week two to get excited about what that could mean for you. Until next week, quick question for you. Have you ever heard of Ernestine Shepherd? Maybe you want to look her up before next week. Have a fantastic week and we'll chat soon.